On December 26, 2004, the third strongest earthquake since 1900 happened on the island of Sumatra, Indonesia. According to the NOAA, this magnitude 9.1 earthquake devastated Sumatra and caused a tsunami that impacted many countries near the Indian Ocean. In its aftermath, around 200,000 people were dead or missing, and there is over $10 billion in damages. Welcome to today's STEM Geo Adventure, where we will explore, you've guessed it, earthquakes! Before we get started, be sure to subscribe to my channel so you will be the first to know when a new video comes out. Now, let's talk about earthquakes. By the end of this video, you'll easily understand what earthquakes are, why they happen, and you'll learn some really cool facts that you probably didn't know about earthquakes. So let's get started. What exactly is an earthquake? An earthquake is a sudden violent shaking of the ground that can sometimes cause a lot of damage. Why in the world does, this, does the earth shake though? Let's explore why this happens. The earth is made up of several different layers. The crust, which is solid, the mantle, which is viscous, meaning its consistency between a solid and a liquid, the outer core and the inner core. The crust and the part of the mantle together form the lithosphere. The lithosphere is a really important concept to understand when it comes to earthquakes. The lithosphere is divided into many different pieces, almost like a puzzle. These pieces are called plates. No, 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 not the kind you used to eat, but these are called tectonic plates. These tectonic plates shift or move around on top of the mantle. So why does it matter that these plates are moving? Sometimes when the plates shift, they may move away from each other, push up against each other, go under one another, or slide past each other. When these plates slide past each other, they can create fractures called faults. You've probably heard of a very famous one called the San Andreas Fault in California. Earthquakes happen along fault lines. We talked about how tectonic plates can move, but they can also stick to one another while they're moving too. This movement and sticking can cause pressure, basically stress on the Earth's surface. Sometimes a sudden movement of the plates can cause a release of the pent up stress with little to no warning, which can cause an earthquake. The point at which the earthquake happens is called the hypocenter, and the epicenter is directly above the Earth's surface. This is usually where the strongest part of the earthquake er occurs, and what often we hear on the news. When an earthquake happens, there's a lot of energy released. The energy travels in the form of waves, specifically seismic waves. These waves are an important clue for scientists to understand when an earthquake's happening, where it's happening, and to understand how strong it is. They use a special tool to measure the earthquakes by using seismometers. They look specifically at the magnitude wave to measure how much energy is released. There are many different scales that are used to measure how strong an earthquake is. One of the scales people are most familiar with is called the Richter scale. Some sources, including the National Geographic and the USGS, Note that the Richter scale is limited in accuracy because it doesn't capture all of the different seismic waves from an earthquake. And the earthquake epicenter needs to be close to the seismograph. Many scientists instead use something called the moment magnitude scale as a way of measuring an earthquake's magnitude, especially for really strong earthquakes. Time to test your knowledge with a trivia question. According to the U.S. Geological Survey, how many detectable earthquakes occur worldwide each year? Is it A. 500,000 B. 100,000 C. 50,000 or D. 10,000 The answer is 500,000 A. Although 500,000 earthquakes are detected annually, we can only feel about 20% of them, and only 100 cause damage. So what is an impact of an earthquake? It can cause damage and destroy roads, bridges, and buildings. There can be a loss of life or injuries to people because buildings and structures may collapse. Earthquakes can also trigger tsunamis, as we spoke at the beginning of the STEM Engineer video. 
Let's test your knowledge with another quiz question. Where was the largest reported earthquake in the United States? Was it in A. San Francisco, California 3. Prince William Sound in Alaska C. Los Angeles, California or D. Seattle, Washington If you said B, you're correct. The correct answer is the Prince William Sound. In March 1964, a magnitude 9.2 earthquake struck the Prince William Sound and about 75 miles east of Anchorage, Alaska. According to History.com, it caused landslides and mass in a massive tsunami. And one of the largest waves of that tsunami was over 200 feet. According to History.com, this quake even changed the coastline of Alaska, and over 130 lives were lost. So now you know all about earthquakes. Thanks for joining me in a STEM Engineer adventure. If you like learning about STEM related topics, be sure to subscribe to the channel and follow STEM Engineer on Instagram and Twitter. Also, if you enjoy our videos, remember to drop a like down below. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next STEM Engineer video.